T minus 15 seconds and counting. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And the liftoff of the Atlas V and NOAA's GOES-S, a highly sophisticated weather-watching eye in the sky, to join its twin in providing better forecasts and saving lives. Atlas has begun a pitch and yaw maneuver to steer to its planned path, an azimuth of 100.7 degrees. At 35 seconds, the rocket carrying GOES-S will reach Mach 1, traveling faster than the speed of sound. Right on schedule. Signatures look good. Roll program is complete. The speed chamber pressures are rolling off as expected. At 47 seconds after launch, the vehicle will pass through the area of maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q. Max, max Q. This is the point when mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and the resistance created by the Earth's atmosphere. up as expected. You are also hearing the voice of United Launch Alliance flight commentator Marty Malinowski. SRB chamber pressures continue to look good at plateau. At one minute 50 seconds into flight, the first two solid rocket boosters will be jettisoned, followed about a second and a half later an SRB by burnout. other boosters. And we have indication of SRB burnout. Booster engine continues to perform well. Approximately 10 seconds to SRB jettison. And we have indication of four solids jettisoning. Looks like a clean separation. And a clean separation being reported of the solid rocket boosters. We are two minutes, four seconds steering. in the 